Hello to everyone, I hope this channel find you well, if you are new to this channel, please right now click the subscribe button. And uh, as I speak this uh, session, it's uh, going to be an interesting session. Let's now go to the Kyrenia example. Most last example. This is a Kyrenia castle. It is a DWG file actually. I don't have a AutoCAD in my this computer. Maybe I can. Yes, this is a Kalinia castle. I'm going to open it from here. As you can see, we have a room and we have a topography and we have a castle. As you can see, it here. The first thing you need to have a correct layer. This is very important. If your layer is not correct, what am I mean by it? If your road, of course, the color it's uh, let's say purple, but if you choose it and you find this on the building, this is wrong, correct, or tree and everything. Then you need to also put everything, every other things, because you don't need, and as you can see, I put everything and I clean everything. And then you need to save it in the lowest possible version. As you can see, there are some coordinates here, the drawing coordinate, but this is a local and definitely it is wrong. Well, we need to correct this thing accordingly. I'll just close the AutoCAD file. You know, to get better than me, you will be able to do it this thing. Now, this is a ready file. I'm just going to open my Arch map and integrate this file to my project. Let's also make a folder here. And put this file here. Like always, I'm going to make an add data, a folder connection to the Calvinia, and I will see my project, which is located almost here. I will hit OK, say there is no spatial reference. You see, this is an AutoCAD file which is coming to my project. Everything coming to here, as you can see, the line color, the line number, everything that you have in AutoCAD. You need to find which layer you are going to work. Actually, this one. You need to work with this one. The rest doesn't have any meaning. Okay. You need to choose this file and choose right-click data export data. 
We can also export to the CAD, but this is now coming from the CAD, so I need to export it to the shape file. I will call it, let's say, example. I choose my older connection to Virginia and hit save and OK. Everything will be become. I don't need any more. Now this is a shape file. You see all the layer name. If I am drawing with a line, if I am drawing with a SP line, if I am drawing with a polyline, or if I am drawing with a arc. Everything will be here. But before anything, I need to make and I need to correct the, the spatial reference after this file. Because right now, it doesn't have any coordinate, as you can see. Previous session, we made a coordinate, we gave a coordinate to the let's say raster, but this time we are going to project or coordinate the vector. You see, this is my new shape, right? this is a dimensionary file. Like the always, I will be at a base map, Imaginary base map. I hope my internet enough for this purpose. Yes, sounds more bad. I'm going to zoom on the Kyrenia. And I will try to find the castle. Yeah, almost here in the right place. Yeah, here we are. Zoom. Yeah, not bad. I'm going to bookmark this place. Close this one and I will add the example which is transferred from the CAD file. You see, this is my file at the moment. To start editing, because it should be started, and you need to select everything that you have. Then you will open the spatial adjustment, which is here. Same as the last one. We need to choose some point. I will choose the castle edge. Let's say I choose. Let's say I choose this one. Hit this one. Go to the side. Open the world imaginary. 
I'm not wrong, this is uh, this part. Again, I'll close this one. Again, you need to have a three point. I will choose the next one. Let's say this corner. Zoom in. Okay. Still is not stabilized. Yeah. Sounds great. I can choose, let's say, this edge. And I need one more line. Again, I choose this one and I am going to my site. Open the imaginary and I choose somewhere here. Now I need to press adjust. You will see my project transfer to here, but of course I have a bit distortion here, and I need to readjust my file in order to solve this problem. For instance, I can give, uh, let's say. You can say you can say this edge come to let's say here and this corner is almost here. Let's find something else. And I don't know, maybe this one is also, you can say, somewhere here. I will again click on adjust. You will see it sounds now better than before. I need to adjust some other part as well. For instance, I don't know, we can say that this one coming to this part and this one. I don't want to zoom and my snap also work here. And maybe this is also come here. You need to do it several and several times until everything fits. Okay? Now imagine this is fixed. We need to close this one. We don't need it anymore. We need to save and we need to stop editing. Okay, this is first part. If you remember, everything that I have is coming to here. Now I need to transfer those layer to the project accordingly. So how I am going to do? I need to just select my attribute. The layer you see equal to the let's say link. 
choose the criteria. You see, all the building we will choose. Now I can say that data, uh, actually from here it's better. You can say that create a layer from select feature. You see, this is all my building. But this is the polygon right now. I need to transfer it to the polygon. You need to open a toolbar from here. There is uh, something here called uh, convention tools. And actually, sorry, not from here, from the data management. From the feature, under the data management from feature. We need to say feature to the polygon. I choose my import feature. This is the building that I select. And I need to define the path. I go to the Kyrenia. I call building.sh. I hit save and click OK. Wait until the uh, program respond. it is uh, transferred the data. Yes, here we are. This is all the building now. I don't need any more of this one. I need to fix some part of it. For instance, the inside of the castle, we don't need it anymore. So we can save everything. Okay, i open again this one. This time, I will choose, let's say, sorry, up here, I will choose the, let's say, tree. Yes. All the tree we will choose. I'm going again create a selection and these are my tree. Again, from here, I am going this time to the feature to the point. Choose the ones that I select already and my destination as true. And I hit OK. You see all the three transfer to the point. One more thing before I forget. You need to also give a coordinate to this project. Actually, now, geographically, they are in correct location, but you need to also assign a coordinate to them. From property, you will come in and give a XY coordinate. Since Kyrenia is in a Cyprus, if you remember from the UTM uh, project, you are going to find, uh, actually it is almost here in my favorite, but you can find it under the project coordination system, under the UTM, under WTS 1984, at the North Hemisphere, and the Cyprus, it is in the 36N, which is North. So you need to select from here and hit OK and apply them accordingly. This is for three. Also for a building, I need to do the same thing since it is in my favorite, or I can also import from three. 
Okay. Now for the next time, if I add them, they have a coordinate as well as you can see. And now let's get rid of it. I forget to, I need to open it again because my layer coordination system is not the same as my So if I have a blank layer, I'm just going to the Kyrenia, if I open the tree, But there is no feature on it. Either I am not save it. My tree feature is empty, so it doesn't matter I can do it. Once more again, I am coming to the example and I choose a tree which is here. Okay, data select, create a layer. This is my tree. I can go to here, which is point. Example of the selection, choose a place, the shape right, okay, and wait until it's respond. This is our tree right now, doesn't have any coordinate. We're going to give manually here. I just lock this look. It seems that something opens some. Let's close some of these. It's real fun. Hopefully, it will be solved. Yes, this time it's so I gave a coordinate, I gave a building, I have everything right now here. So same thing will be continue for the world and airborne block. As you see, 
and transfer one by one everything and give a coordinate to the file. This is the step that how you are able to transfer a AutoCAD file to the GIS system. Uh, this is everything for today. I hope uh, you enjoy. Is there any question up to moment? Anything that you want to know? Is this everything clear? Yes, John. Everything is clear. Okay. So, if there is no more question, I will stop our lecture here and wish you all the best. Hope all the best for you and Happy New Year from now for all of you. See you by the lecture after the New Year at the 8th of the January. This time I'm looking forward for your presentation. Thank you, Ojam. You're welcome. Happy New Year, Ojam. Happy New Year. See you soon. Bye-bye.